go out and shop for my spices and herbs as often as I can. I, I go to various places. I, I would go to a spice shop, I would go to a vegetable market, wherever the spices and herbs are being sold. With his strong Indian roots and long history of cooking with a wide variety of ingredients, it'd be easy to think that Atul had already come across every flavoring there is. Going into spice and herb market is always an experience. You always pick up invariably something new, which you don't know, you have not used in your food. I'm almost like a child running between the aisles to see what's there, what's there. But I just want to know more what I can, what I can bring new to my plate. His constant search for new flavors certainly makes him a modern, innovative chef. But what would his menu be like without all these exciting ingredients? The spices and herbs are a really integral part of Indian cooking. It's very difficult to think of Indian food without spices and herbs. So Atul isn't about to turn his back on his cooking heritage. But with this year's competition demanding the best in modern British cooking, where does he see his style fitting in? I've accepted that I cook British food with my heart and soul because I use British produce. I cook with a different influence, but that doesn't make me any less British than anyone here. Back in our kitchen, the main courses the chefs are preparing are definitely British. But are they really contemporary? So Jason, what I know of you as a very modern chef and using beef cheek is mm -hmm. something a something bit of a classic. Um, I'd say it's a classic. What it is, at all, is, you know, let's be honest, anybody can learn to cook a decent piece of fillet of beef, right? That's true. But to cook this type of meat takes skill. You know, in the preparation, in the marinade, in the, in, in the cooking time, there's not many chefs who take a, a pride in cooking this type of food. Jason's meticulous preparation and exacting standards came from years of training at the highest level. Jason Atherton was born and raised in Skegness, but his ambition to be a top chef brought him to London, and he's lived here for 20 years now. Having trained in kitchens across Spain, France and Dubai, Jason brought those international influences back to the UK. And they've been a great success with restaurant goers here. I think I've been a leader in, in modern British tapas, yeah, that's for sure, with my time in Spain, and realised it was a much nicer way to eat, rather than being stuffed with a starter main course dessert, which was tradition to our culture. Uh, and I wanted to sort of expand from that and give London something it's never had before. So it was his own vision to offer us a new style of eating. But he was helped on his way by invaluable training from some of the best in the business. I've worked for two of the country's most famous chefs, probably the two most famous chefs, Gordon Ramsay and Marco Pierre White. What has that taught me? That's taught me, A, you know, I, I'm a workaholic. B, uh, I'm, I'm a megalomaniac with cleansiness, tidiness, organisation skills from Gordon Ramsay is second to none. Perfection from both of them is second to none. Uh, and I believe, you know, without working for those guys, I wouldn't be the real strong chef I am today. And that respect is reciprocated by Mr Ramsay himself. He eats a lot around the world and he has the most amazing sort of um, insight to deconstructing a dish. So even if he never gets to work in their kitchen, a famous chef's kitchen, he'll know how they cook by just eating in the dining room. Very few chefs can pick that up instantly like Jason.